Stratolaunch's Rock, the world's biggest airplane now has one more accolade to boast about. The plane has successfully completed the drop of its hypersonic test vehicle, TA-0, paving the way for its first hypersonic flight in just a few months from now. Powered by six engines, the Rock is unarguably the world's largest plane by its sheer size. The dual fuselage aircraft does not look like anything that could carry a heavy payload. When it was designed, the Rock was meant to carry air-launchable rockets that take satellites to orbit much like how Virgin Orbit planned. However, after the death of its founder Paul Allen, Stratolaunch had to change its plans and pivoted toward testing hypersonic vehicles. With Virgin Orbit filing for bankruptcy recently, it looks like Stratolaunch made the right bet and is now heading toward a promising future. It was only last October that the Rock made its first flight with the hypersonic vehicle, dubbed the Talon for the very first time. The Talon is a reusable hypersonic test aircraft that can carry customizable payloads at speeds greater than Mach 5, or five times the speed of sound. This is quite remarkable considering that the company was looking at bankruptcy in 2019, and has now turned itself around to test hypersonic vehicles for the Pentagon. Stratolaunch is currently building advanced iterations of the Talon A reusable vehicle, but recently tested the release of the Talon A0, which does not have a power plant. Recently, the rock took off from the Mojave Air and Spaceport in Southern California a little, after 9 in the morning on its 11th test flight. Heading west, the world's biggest airplane dropped Talon A when it was off California's central coast. Since Talon A does not have an engine to take itself up to hypersonic speeds, the test vehicle could only perform gliding maneuvers and send telemetry data back to the team through the rock and back, at the Vandenberg Space Force Base. While other Talon test vehicles will have landing gear to enable their recovery on any airstrip, Talon A could only perform a mock landing and hit the water. The rock landed back at Mojave 4 hours and 8 minutes after liftoff, 